it's something that you remember. I just don't like talking about it. It was dark. The street lights were not on. You remember what you were called. Nigger, what are you all doing, niggas? It's illegal. You're not supposed to be here. Next thing we know, we running because they come swinging nightsticks. Bam, 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 bam. I don't care how many times you holler, Selma, Lord Selma. If you don't read the beginning of the book, you can't get the full story. Why did they march from Selma to Montgomery? What y'all doing down on the bridge? You are ordered to disperse, go home, or go to your church. That march will not continue. That's one because we couldn't have the right to vote. People have been protesting in Selma for months, for years. The reason that they were marching on Bloody Sunday is because of what happened here. It's because of that man's death, Jim Lee Jackson's death, who was shot and killed in cold blood by an Alabama State Trooper. The Marion march that happened that night did get overshadowed because it wasn't on film. My father had called a night march and a night mass meeting. It was going to march from the church to the jail and pray for Reverend Owens because they were afraid the law enforcement was going to kill Reverend Owens. James Owens had been in town for weeks organizing and registering young African Americans to vote. George Wallace sent a mob of state troopers to Marion. News people got beat and the cameras got taken. The lights got knocked out. It's pitch dark. Chaos broke out. The rocks were being thrown. The people getting hit with sticks. Because it was intentional that what we were going to do, we were going to erase these Negroes off the face of Alabama. Instead of them killing James Orange, they killed Jimmy Lee Jackson. He gave his life defending his grandmama and his grandfather. Oh, it was just sadness because he was the only son of his mother. Him and his grandfather were very close. They were already together. He was had a beautiful smile, and he just always liked to help people. Dr. King and nobody had planned on marching to Montgomery. Nobody had planned on marching across the Edmunds Pettus Bridge. A lady by the name of Lucy Foster suggested that they take Jimmy Lee's body and dump it on the steps of George Wallace. Let him see what he's done. Let him see how insensitive his actions were. The results of his death led to the march from Selma to Montgomery. We just got added to the Selma to Montgomery Trail on the 50th anniversary. How can you have a trail that starts in the middle? The cases we have now all across the country, the police brutality cases, the voting restrictions going across the, the, the South. You have to be prepared to stand up for justice. All this was going on back in 65. Because as everybody always say, history repeats itself. And you can almost see that now. In that era, African-American people were protesting for the right to vote. They got it. They have used it sparingly and occasionally. But when they've used it, they've changed this country. Anytime you go to the poll and you have a right to exercise your vote, it's because of the blood of Jim Lee Jackson, the sweat and the sacrifice of people from Perry County, Alabama. Maybe one day they will all come and realize that it was Jimmy that started it. Hopefully. Hey. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.